Yes, a day after all of our random jumping with this nine-year-old bike, we had some damage done to it. This front brake. <sighs> Hold on, let me get on the bike. The ghetto one that was made is a little bit, a little bit broken. Watch, I could push it forward. It's not supposed to do that, but I think it was like that when we originally put it on here. All it does is slow down the bike. Unless you're stationary, it locks it pretty good still. So. Now, this one over here, it broke completely. It has no wiring for it anymore does absolutely nothing now. This is the original brake to the butt. And well, yes. As for the reflector, I never had one to the, with the bike from the begin with. So, front tire is good. I had to remove the entire back braking system because it broke. See, what happened was, I was going down the hill, or mountain, or whatever you want to call it, and right here, right there, blew out. It literally popped out as I hit the brakes. I did this, and it suddenly, 30 seconds later, it popped off. So I'm like, oh, simple fix, pop it back in. No, it literally snapped. So I removed the entire back brake until I could replace the braking system for the back tires. So I'm stuck with crappy front brakes that only slow me down that are partially broken. But it's better than no brakes at all. As for the seat, well, it's been like this for a few years now. Rusty. And I believe since I got this bike, I've always done this. So you have to be very careful in shifting your weight on the seat. Otherwise, I'll do this and then you'll have a bike seat up your ass. So she's still pretty much good, just no, ooh, again with that seat, no um, brakes to work with here. So we're bringing her in to the garage. Now, for the braking system that I took off, I put it all in here. Let's get out of the sun a bit. And this old little toolbox. This is the braking system. This would be at the back where my tire would be. And this is the spring, I guess, that would, you know, make it coil and uncoil. So. This is the first thing I took off. This is where it snapped. It sucks. So, this is where it snapped off from. This would be at the top, right where I showed you. And it came off from this. And it would go something like this, but together. And this, all this, would actually be into this black cable. This is the back brakes that I removed. Still work fine, just need to get new wiring for it. And this would be the re rear reflector that's really useless because I don't ride at night. In fact, I hardly ever ride this bike. And just some other random junk from old desk and other parts from other bikes we used to have. So, I might never get this back brake fixed, but if I ever come across a scrap bike, I might use it for parts to replace the back braking system. Either if I get another wire, I'll just put this one back on, or I'll just put a new complete braking system hooked up. So you've been pretty handy with bikes over the years, but I never really ride them anymore. Why? Because I live on a fucking mountain. What do you expect to do? Good. Ugh. 
do gera. Wow. Soon we'll get this little beast to work again. It has a back flat tire. As soon as we repair that, we can get this one going. And that's it.